Hello, my besties. How are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. If you are here for the first time, my name is Kathy. This is my puppy, Coco. And we do a lot of fun projects on a budget here. So if you like to craft and not break a bank, this is a channel for you. Go ahead, hit the little red button and automatically become our bestie. <laughs> that way you don't miss any future videos, okay? So what do I have for you today? Well, it's not about a bunny. It's about the land, right? We made so many beautiful bunnies and bunny makeovers on this channel. We had lots of fun, but we gotta do something with the lamb. So I'm very excited to share this reef idea with you. Let's get started. And if you are wondering about the garland, bunnies, the large eggs, or the bunny trail sign, Everything was made on the budget and you can look up those videos. I'm going to provide links in the description box below, okay? All right, so let me grab my cup of coffee in the brand new mug, Crafting Queen. <laughs> How cute is that? A big shout out and thank you to my besties, Monique and Sofia, for sending me this wonderful mug. And here's the list of supplies for today's reef. We're going to use a lamb and this one is a cutie from Hobby Lobby, got it on sale or you can find one at the Dollar Tree. It's a little bit smaller, but also very adorable. And of course, we're gonna need florals, lilies, hydrangeas. These are new colors from the Dollar Tree, so pretty. I also have this rhinoculus. I got it on clearance at Michael's, some greenery, of course, the reef ring, and some deco. This is 10 by 10 from Hobby Lobby. You get it on sale for $5. Of course, you're gonna need some pipe cleaners and uh, color coordinating ribbons. I have a variety here. You can find ribbons at a Dollar Tree as well, Dollar General. And optional, you can also add a sign. This is my latest find from a Dollar Tree. I'm very excited. It looks like one of those arched windows. What a great find for a dollar. Here's a barcode if you wanna look it up online. And of course, we are going to customize it. I designed the sign, Worthy is the Lamb, and I'm going to save it in my DIY group here on Facebook. So if you like, you can reach in there and download it for free. Simply print it off, and we are going to replace it just like that. You can use Mod Patch or School Glue to attach it on the back of the existing sign. And if you like, you can cover it with additional layer of Mod Podge. Let it dry for a second and reattach with some hot glue. Worthy is the so we got a beautiful sign for just a dollar, compatible to a $10 sign I got at a Hobby Lobby. Uh, this one is wood and metal, a little bit nicer quality, but still, what a price difference, right? And you can add a metal ward to this sign as well, if you like. Dollar Tree sells three for a dollar. Next, we are going to cut the deco mesh. I recommend using a cardboard 10 by 10. And uh, this way you can quickly cut equal pieces 10 by 20. And you will get 18 pieces, just enough to make a reef. The reef form is divided in six sections. We are going to put three pipe cleaners per section. Uh, as you can see, there's four rails. And we are going to attach two pipe cleaners to the two outer rails first, and then one to the inner rails, just like so. We are going to repeat this in all six sections. Total of 18 pipe cleaners all around the form. Feel free to do a screenshot. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. Oh, how beautiful. <laughs> Gorgeous. You know I love the flowers. Thank 
you for showing how to make our homes beautiful. I really enjoy your videos and look forward to them. Blessings. Let's see who's my bestie who sent this to me. Carol Delagore. Oh, thank you so much, Carol. How sweet. Are you here, Tweety, by the way? <laughs> oh. Wow. A little thank you because you blessed me so. Oh, my goodness. Look what a gorgeous, gorgeous card. I will treasure this forever. Thank you so much, Carol, my dear bestie. This is gorgeous and so wonderful and thoughtful of you. Thank you. <laughs> so I let Tweety out and look what she's doing. Now she's pretending she's not doing anything, but I saw her pulling those pipe cleaners off. <laughs> oh yes, look at that. <laughs> Naughty birdie. We are going to make the cruffles today and many of my besties already know this method is very easy. You curl up one end, clip it, turn it around, curl up the other end and then you walk your fingers across, make a ruffle. So just like that you got a cruffle, combination of a curl and ruffle. And you twist it with the pipe cleaner to your form, just like that. Let's make one more. You're going to curl up one end, clip it, turn it around, curl up the other end, walk your fingers across, pinch it, and right there, attach it to the next pipe cleaner. And I attach them in a zigzag pattern um, to the outer, inner, outer rail, and so on. Very easy method, we are going to repeat it all around the wreath. What's great about it that your ends are curled up and you don't see any fraying. I love that. So 18 craffles all around the reef makes a nice and full reef. And as you can see, Tweety Bird is not giving up on these pipe cleaners. I think it's her favorite toy now. <laughs> oh yes, by the way, Tweety is a girl. My son has been saying that, but I didn't believe him until one of the besties who also have cockatiels confirmed that Tweety is a girl. So. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so Coco's a girl, and then it's me, my daughter. So girls rule in this house. By the way, I'm pulling all the inner pipe cleaners to the back, and I'm going to tie them back there because we're not going to need them anymore. Um, however, the outer pipe cleaners we're going to leave out there on the top. We are going to attach ribbons to them. We are going to place the lamb in the hole in the middle and let him hold the sign, just like that. And we are going to attach uh, the sign and the lamb with some floral wire.
And then we are just going to use one wire around Lem's neck. And I have to tell you, Lem's wool sticks to that uh, deco mesh uh, like uh, Velcro. <laughs> Next, we are going to make a simple bow. Uh, measure 12 inch tail, pinch it, measure another 12 inches, pinch it, fold it in half, that's a six inch loop, measure 12 inches again, that's a second loop at the bottom, and we are going to cut the tail about the same length. We are going to attach underneath the sign with a pipe cleaner that's already there. very simple bow and if you have more ribbon you can make another layer. The next layer will be a little bit smaller 11 inches pinch, 11 inches again, pinch it, fold it in half that's a five and a half inch loop, 11 pinch and cut the tail about the same length and we are going to tie it on top of the first bow. Let's make one more, a little bit smaller. Measure 10 inches, pinch, that's a tail. Another 10 inches, pinch, fold in half, that's a five inch loop. Again, five inches, pinch all together and cut at the tail about the same size. We are going to tie this bow on top of the second one, the third, the second. <laughs> Very simple, pretty multi-ribbon bow. Just fluff it up and cut all the fishtails. Fold it in half and cut diagonally towards the wired edge. Next, we are going to attach ribbon tails all around the reef. The bow covers a certain section, but we're still going to need 10 sets. And I don't have enough of one type of ribbon, so I had to get a little bit creative, but I think it works in the end. I have three sets of the gold and burlap, and then the rest blue and cream. I think it's going to be okay. Depending what you have, you might want to do half and half or all of them in one color. So what we do is just fold the ribbons in half to find the midpoint. Then we pinch them and make like a V shape. And I just have to space these out first. Since I have three sets, I'm going to do one over here on the side, another one towards the top and one more on the other side. We are going to fill the rest with blue and cream. So again, same way, you know, just find the midpoint and then you pinch it in the middle, make a V shape and tie it down with your pipe cleaner. So the ribbons are done and I feel like I need to secure that sign a little bit better to prevent it from sliding up and down.
And now you can tie down and remove all the excess pipe cleaners from the ribbons. And now the florals. When I saw these mint lilies, I think they're new this year, I knew I wanted to use them in my design. I wasn't sure where, but then the lamb came with the mint ribbon. So I thought, how perfect. I'm gonna leave it as is and just complement with all these new flowers. Oh, isn't that beautiful, that lily in the center? Next, I'm thinking to add this rhinoculus. It's a two-tone. I think it's going to look perfect here just on the side of the uh, lamb, uh, just drooping over him. I think it's gonna be so cute. I'm going to attach it with hot glue in a few places. Next, let's add a few lilies on the side as well. You know, I like to bend the end of the stem, that way the flower sticks out better instead of just laying flat there. Okay, one, two, let's add one more there. Next, we are going to cut apart the hydrangeas and add them on top of each pipe cleaner at the top of the ribbon. So I'm just playing around with the placement. Once I like it, I'm gluing them in. As you can see, these colors are so pretty, complementing beautifully. Uh, these are the newest find from the Dollar Tree, so you shouldn't have problem finding them. And now some greenery. I think this one is a, just the perfect tone. <laughs> I've seen it at a Dollar Tree for years and never used it, but I think this is the reef to use it, right? <laughs> I think it goes perfectly. And I'm just adding a piece here and there. Um, as you can see, you can pull it apart, use some longer pieces like in your bow and just the smaller leaves without any stem even underneath your hydrangeas. You can just stick them under like that. So you can see how the greenery and florals transform that reef. I feel like we need a touch of white. I have this bush from uh, Dollar General, a little bit of white lilac, that's all I have, but I'm hoping to brighten it up just a bit. What do you think? I think we just need a little cherry on the top and we are done.
video if you did please give me a thumbs up also consider subscribing if you haven't already that way youtube will let you know next time i'm back you with a new video okay so thanks so much for watching see you next time bye bye Worthy is the land.